Quarantine on Air. I'm Addie Shaney and here's what's trending. Hundreds of seniors showed up to pick up their caps and gowns at Atherton on Friday. Teachers and staff members lined the parade route for this event. It was the first event on campus since school was closed on March 13th. Students and staff had to follow strict social distancing guidelines for this very non-traditional farewell. One interesting note about the senior drive. A professional photographer and video crew were on hand to document the experience. A GoFundMe account was in place to pay for that until Atherton alum and prominent rapper Jack Harlow paid off the balance. Now that seniors have those caps and gowns, please make sure to participate in Atherton's version of the Don't Rush Challenge. Senior sponsor Miss Taylor has sent out all the guidelines for the video, so make sure to review what you need to do. The deadline for sitting in your video is Monday, May 25th by 8. Just put it in the shared Google folder. If you have any questions, email Miss Taylor. When we do return to school, things will look a lot different. Take a sneak peek at some of the renovations taking place at Atherton right now. Construction crews, contractors, and architects are hard at work ripping down walls, removing lockers, and making room for a million dollar remodeling project. When school resumes, you can expect to see a brand new engineering lab, a medical and health science suite, and a professional broadcasting and photography studio. Most people have been able to take some time off from work during quarantine, but that has not been the case for our healthcare workers who have had to face the pandemic head on. Atherton students Bowie Chang and Paul Lee wanted to make sure they knew that their efforts weren't going unnoticed as well as giving Atherton students an opportunity to show their appreciation for our local healthcare heroes. Can you explain this project to us? Um, so we're working with certain hospitals to get cards into healthcare workers' lives to make their lives better and to just bring some positive light. So basically what we do is we collect cards from different people around the state and we put them in the Google slide to be able to send off to hospitals because we can't physically give them cards with the virus happening and everything. How can students get involved in this project? 
Um, there will be instructions where you can send us your cards. You can make them manually by hand, or you can make them digitally. Either way works. You can even send a video of yourself saying thank you, and we will put them into the Google slide with your name and your school. So all you have to do is just send it to our email, um, which you guys should post. And then we have an Instagram, which is COVID-19 thank you cards. So you can follow that to get the latest update because we will be changing things about the email or about slides and you can see some inspiration and stuff like that. Um, what inspired you to start this project? Um, just the whole virus situation. I realized that as a 16 year old kid, you can't really do much. You can't give cards. Well, you can't give cards to drive there. You can't give money because we're all like, we're broke. We don't really have much money <laughs> and you can't donate anything because you're 16. So there's certain things that we could do to make a person's lives better. And I know that right now it's like a really dark time in people's lives. So just a card that says thank you from kids around the state could make one person's life so much better. So that's kind of my inspiration from that. All right, thank you and thanks for all you're doing. Many stores and restaurants are starting to reopen, which is good news for local businesses. Media arts students Jackie Farnan tells us more about one local artist who needs support. Alicia is one of the many local artists in Louisville. She makes jewelry, paints flower pots, and pictures. Here's some of her work. on social platforms like Twitter and Instagram, as well as following them, or you can even purchase their pieces. So check out her stuff on her website, Instagram, and Twitter. Many people are tapping into their creative sides during quarantine. Media arts student Andrew Moore shows us how he's passing the time. Hello, I am Andrew Moore, and I've been getting an itch to play D&D over this quarantine, but I obviously can't, so I've decided to redraw one of my old characters, Kothan the Kanku, which, which Kanku are a race of crow-like humanoids that mimic noises, and that's essentially how they speak. Uh, it's been a year since I played as this character, I just never really got the knack of drawing him down back then, so I'm trying again now. And I really like how this turns out, but like, if if you want to draw, just draw. I mean, art's a great way to really stress, and this was very nice being able to go back and retcon one of my old character designs that I used for a one-shot, but hey, this is what it is without that color I didn't color it but yeah just art's great besides making crafts a lot of us are coping by getting outdoors and being in nature media arts student Autumn Schmidt shows us her green thumb And if plants aren't your thing, maybe working in the kitchen is a stress reliever for you. Media arts student Molly Jett takes us along as she bakes a cake, with a very special message at the end.
time now to check in with Hannah Harper. Hopefully she has a few cute animals of Atherton to show us today. Thanks, Addie. We have two teacher's pets today. Miss Taylor would like for you to meet Basil the cat. Basil belongs to Miss Taylor's daughter, Betsy, who got him for her sixth birthday. And Miss MacArthur would like for you to meet her two co-workers during NTI. She has two long-haired Dotsons, Reese and Daisy. So, what is the typical day like for our sweet dogs? Media arts student Mary Spagnola shows us the daily routine of her dog, Buddy. Thanks, Mary. Buddy is adorable. My dog Max and I really enjoyed that video. Back to you, Addie. Thanks, Hannah. It's hard to believe, but this is our final show of the year. The staff of Atherton On Air looks forward to returning next school year, bigger and better than ever. Thanks for watching. We leave you with a look back at the 2019-2020 school year. Remember, Rebels, what you do makes a difference.